All right, so hey, I just wanted to uh, turn you guys on to this. You know, I know this is going to sound completely ridiculous. However, it's just too uncanny to not have some relevance. And perhaps somebody out there smarter than me can, you know, maybe make some use of this information. But I have no, this here is the website, Vistar, for the LHC and the uh, CERN apparatus. <clears throat> so here you can see you can go to different pages. And uh, anyway, I was turned on to this by Bluebeard a while back. And since I mentioned him, I, you know, I want to first, I want to thank him. And I also would like to thank some other people that have, I just want to say, have been, I think, are doing a really good job. And uh, I think the new arrival, man, I, uh, I really like your channel. And you have, uh, you know, your first one and your second one. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Regato Bonner, I like what you have to say too, and uh, uh, look if you want, man, you're doing a great job, and Evan Powers, I, <laughs> you know, say what you want, or like, like him, or don't like him, but man, Evan Powers knocked it out of the park with this last one, uh, it, that really tied for me tied so many things together uh even things that i had been thinking about and uh yeah evan great job on uh just explaining some things there and you know it is all pointing uh to the rise of the antichrist i believe and uh You know, with some of the other changes with what that we're seeing too, you know, we're, we went from wineskins to bottles, you know, something newer, like version 2.0, you know. Uh, and it's just uh, really, man, there's so many things lining up. We live in such an amazing time. And, you know, I just wanted to put out there that you know I don't make too many videos. I have been going through a lot of uh, just personal things that uh, you know I've just been going through personal things, so I don't make too many videos, and I've been taking a lot of it in. Totally lost <laughs> where I was going with all that. Evan Powers knocking it out of the park. And I just wanted to, you know, thank, thank some of you guys that are uh, really have been on the truth quest for a while. Um, I too believe there are some infiltrators <clears throat> and uh, deliberate disinfo going on um, and you know you can kind of spot these people by uh, their unability to cite specifics when asked um, they will you know go with one that they may have or or whatever and then they'll They'll say something else was like something that really turned them on to it, but then they can't give a good specific of of what it was. You know, if it was a Bible verse that you know was different, well, shouldn't you be able to recite that verse, <laughs> you know, or give a, a couple of examples? I mean, I could, and I don't need to do that because you can even go back in the limited videos that I have on my channel and uh, hear at least one that I, I for sure 
know was different and I've had it confirmed um, with the memory of at least two other people that I personally know and was able to ask and have them uh, recite it back to me immediately the way I remembered it so um, yeah and I, you know I think a lot of these things you know there's there's a lot of deliberate disinfo and there is you know sometimes we're all looking for the truth and sometimes we're gonna get things wrong or we change our minds about certain things and uh, I think the people that are being genuine have uh, you know they're honest about how their feelings have changed and they are uh, forthcoming about that sort of thing and so yeah there's definitely I think some some sort of deliberate disinfo and infiltration going on but Evan Powers man you knocked it out of the park I don't know how long they're gonna let that video stay up uh, so then I'll, I'll get back then to this beam setup and adjust this is the LHC uh, page and <clears throat> <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but if you guys have the, you know, quote, ten tinnitus or tinnitus sometimes, and it's, you know, I know what tinnitus is uh, because I've experienced it after concerts or, uh, even just you know I remember when I was younger I would I would get it I don't know if it was from headphones or whatever you know but you take them off and you get that hiss it's like a shh kind of you know and it would be to varying degrees throughout my life but uh, there's another type that's like a, a just a distinct high pitch ring like a and it will vary in uh, length or in intensity you know and um, so anyway this other I, I remember it all throughout my life I mean at different times of course you you would hear this or you know maybe you get knocked in the head <laughs> all you hear is silence and a, like a, a ring yeah I've experienced that too but uh, now when when you hear little ones sometimes <laughs> whatever go ahead and just take a look you know I mean let's take a look here at that right there it's the CERN website um, and anyway just check it out <laughs> because I have noticed you know this this shows when they're doing tests and here's their you know when they got the beams and the intensities and where I don't even know exactly but I know when they power these things up here's the energy levels here and the intensity <laughs> when they power these things up inevitably I get a little me and it's uncanny um, because you know you'll go through times where you don't really hear it and, and say you know what I'm gonna check over here and sure enough the they won't have anything powered on um, and then uh, of course you're not always by a computer or you know I'm just telling you guys if you depending upon intensity you'll notice this you uh, either a spike 